Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. This is our take. We are your hosts. I'm Taylor. I'm Connor. Today we're going to be taking a look at Universal Pictures' newest release, Oppenheimer. Connor, can you give us a quick rundown of the cast for this movie? Absolutely. So, Cillian Murphy as Robert Oppenheimer. Uh, Jean Tatlock, hopefully I said, said that correctly. She plays Florence Pugh. Um, Robert Downey Jr. plays Louis Strauss. Emily Blunt as Kitty Oppenheimer. <clears throat> and there's a bunch of actors as all the scientists in the movie. Um, yeah. There's a lot. So I can start listening yeah, to a lot of people in this movie. It's going to be a long one. So Jack Quaid as Richard Freinman. Matt Damon as Leslie Groves. Just give us the actor name so we can. Okay, uh, so yeah, there's Jack through. Quaid, Matt Damon, Rami Malik, Devin Bostic, Josh Peck. Tom Conti plays Albert Einstein. Um, David Desmalchin Chain. Yep. Um, he's in this movie. He plays uh, Scarecrow. Or not Scarecrow, sorry. He plays uh, one of the imposters of Scarecrow <laughs> yeah. won- in The yeah. Dark Knight. Yeah. And then um, uh, Josh Hartnett is also in this movie. Matthias Schwigafer, Dylan Arnold, Dane DeHaan, Gary Oldman, Casey Affleck, Benny Safdie, Sadie Stratton, Kenneth Branagh, Jason Clark, um, Alden Ehrenreich. Uh, there's there's a lot there's like a million people in this yeah. movie. we'll cut it there just to yeah. keep it short okay and uh as always we're going to give us your or give you our spoiler free thoughts ratings slash recommendation spoilers at the end um i'll quick give a really brief uh, summary of what the movie's about uh yeah. should go without saying but obviously it revolves around a, a true story Oppenheimer. Yeah. It's a true story, of course. It's historical. Um, it's basically just the creation of the atomic bombs and slash hydrogen bomb um, it's, during it's World War II. It's the creation yeah, of atomic weapons and what the story of Robert Oppenheimer, who created the atomic bomb. Right. So what it's his basically just revolves around is. him. Right. Yeah. And also what it means to have atomic bombs, you know, in yeah, the future. in general. Just yeah. the, the beginning of the nuclear age, yeah. um, which, you know, now is kind of like behind us, but um, delving into all that, which was generally not touched on a whole lot. Um, I was already familiar a little bit with this stuff. Uh, probably not as much as Ocean because I think he did a whole like um, paper on it and stuff or something. Mm-hmm. Just made a project about it, but was generally familiar with it. And as you know, that's basically it. So let's get into our spoiler-free section, Connor. What did you think about this movie? I love this movie. This is my movie of the year. Um, You're just calling it right now. Calling it right now. Uh, okay. It was Transformers. Now it's Oppenheimer. Transformers is a close second. And um, this movie was amazing. Um, it's three hours long, so it, it is, is a very long movie, but I think it was completely worth it. And I didn't even, it didn't feel long to me. It didn't feel like a three hour movie. It felt, when I got movie, like, when I got done with this movie, I, I, Walked out of the theater, and my first thought was like, "Damn!" Like it like, was, it was like, uh, like yeah, like I had no satisfying, words, right? I had no words to really like, describe how, like, how the movie hit me. How, like, I just, I was just like, "Wow!" And it, like, there's obviously a lot of love and a lot of effort put into this movie. Um, it was, it was really amazing to see it was it was almost like watching the sound of freedom 
where it's like based on a true story, but like um you know it's it's like almost in the same way i i felt it when i left the movie of like the impact that this has on the real world not the movie itself but like just the what's portrayed in the movie you know what i mean right like the actual right like a story of it right exactly yeah like i could feel that when i left the movie you know yeah that's good. That's good. Um, I'm just gonna assume you you highly recommend this movie then. Oh yeah, I recommend you go <laughs> watch this movie in the theater. Yeah, right now. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, so I I want to say for this movie as well, um, thanks to the good old internet, um, this movie was also fucking packed, and I watched this yeah. first showing in the morning because I couldn't get the super late one um the day before yeah uh, this movie was, was still hella packed. still full yeah. which is really cool to see um this is another fucking christopher nolan film and i'm just gonna say it's it's a fucking banger it is yeah, amazing it's another christopher nolan banger christopher nolan best director of all <laughs> time no i'm just kidding yeah Maybe but no, seriously, know, he maybe. could be. We'll see in fifty he's years. He's definitely but up there, Christopher Nolan. You're fucking killing it, dude. I'm just saying. Yeah, like he's definitely hire up me. There. I'll do whatever you want. I'll fucking shine your shoes, dude. I don't care. I'm I I fucking I did like I could not think of a better director for this movie either. If like yeah, for sure, I couldn't imagine anybody else directing a, a movie about this. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, this movie I thought was amazing as well. Um, yeah. I had a great time. It is three hours, but I, I agree. I didn't feel a single bit of it when I yeah. left the movie. I was super satisfied with it. Um, I just, I mean, I, I, I'm glad that, you know, maybe there's a lot of things in, in life that I think should get more attention than it does. Um, but at least this is one of them. Because yeah. this is a very uh i don't know how you call it but something that people like often just ignore or don't think about it's something that doesn't take for really, granted i guess it, yeah it's not really involved in your because it's not, life right because it doesn't directly like impact you but it does i mean it but it does yeah, yeah. it's kind of like it, well, it doesn't like directly impact you but it, it impacts you from way up here it impacts you in the atmosphere yeah. so because... it, it indirectly does it's yeah like, and it's just something that people have you know taken for granted a long time now yeah and, and i think after watching this movie it <coughs> would definitely it definitely changes that mindset you know what i mean we're like yeah i mean i would hope so like uh, after I, I got out of this movie i was like man i was like way more aware that there's like nukes probably like just trained on like wherever i am you know what I mean? not me specifically but just like like there's it's always looming you know what i mean like it's always yeah, i mean i think threat. that's the real the more i guess simple way of looking at it but honestly yeah i, I just think on a really core like version of it like just the fact that we have as humans have evolved discovered state right yeah. and evolved and discovered the Basically capability created of our own destruction. destroying yeah. atoms and particles and all that kind of stuff which i mean we've you know we've advanced that even further by this point yeah um but it's but just the fact something that, we've that created... most people right we've created this which in this this particular case yeah. is a weapon of mass destruction like we, for yeah, real we've literally created our own extinction like right. we've we've created the tool to make our entire race extinct if we i mean not even just we decided our race to, we could literally but, annihilate all races, the entire world Earth. yeah yeah um which is it's mind-boggling and terrifying it's, yeah it is it is it's like a it's like even uh, though in a it, you know in a in a way it's like it's not i mean it's not like all bad in the sense like it's an accomplishment right like it's right. crazy that we are have done that 
But at the same time, it's like, should we have? Right. It's the age old Jurassic Park question of, yeah, you know, <laughs> you, just, you, just because you, you can. Right. Should, it doesn't mean that right. you should. You didn't stop to think and ask, should you? Should you? Even which, you can. They, which, you know, I think this movie does tackle say, by saying that we did stop and think about it. But I, no matter what, no matter what anybody did, it would have happened one way or another. It was going to happen anyway. Yeah. I, either Which the is... Nazis were going to make a bomb, or we were going to make a bomb, or right. the Russians so real would have quick, made a bomb. Before we continue on, because I think we probably went past it, uh, but the movie's awesome. Highly recommended from both of us. Yeah, yeah. Connor, what's your score, real quick? Uh, ten out of ten. All right. Ten uh, out of ten. Ten out of ten for me as well. Yeah, it's, would uh, watch I think again. It's a fucking masterpiece. Yeah, it is. It's a fucking goddamn masterpiece. I don't care what anybody says. It's a fucking yeah. masterpiece. This yeah, this movie agree, fucking 100%. slaps, dude. This movie was amazing. I'm so Give glad me a director's cut it. that's like five hours long. I'll fucking watch it. Yeah. <laughs> give us the Nolan cut. Right? Yeah, give us the Nolan cut. Where's the Nolan cut? But, at? Yeah, that's it for scores, real quick. Yeah. I know we kind of already went into a little bit, but real quick, this is going to be your official. Spoiler alert. All right. So continuing on what we were talking about, like right. the, there's there's a lot of good things that come from this, right? Like we right. you know, we have a we we've used it in less shitty ways, like nuclear right. power, energy to like produce right. a lot of stuff. Particle accelerators. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like there's a lot yeah. of good things that came out, but this was yeah. the beginning of it and it was of course in a bad way. And like you said, which this movie um some of the characters that were like scientists that were opposed of it and stuff were trying to stop it because they thought that uh we just shouldn't be dealing with it, which is I think is true, but like you said, unfortunately yeah. in a perfect no world what, nobody would have made this bomb. Right, but this is not a proof of work. Right, exactly. And no matter what you do with anything in life, you can never stop progress. Yeah. No matter how much you want to or how much you should or should not do it, it's going to happen. Yeah, yeah I, think, and um, I think that's the overall take that I got by the end of this movie was that even though it was basically like a canon event and nothing would have stopped it from happening, because of the way the world was by the end of this movie i i think the overall message was that it it still should never have happened you know what i mean like yeah i mean in general yeah it shouldn't have but it was yeah. it, it it was that it like, had to by the end of this movie there's the my favorite scene of the whole fucking movie is the end where he's talking to albert einstein and Oh, when it when it comes back to them right. at the lake. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're talking at the lake and Oppenheimer's literally like you know when I gave you those calculations about the possibility of if we set this bomb off that it'll start a chain reaction that destroys the entire world. <clears throat> yeah. Uh and Albert Einstein's like, Yeah, what what happened to that? And he's like, Well, I think we we did. And then it right. cuts to him. Uh, probably in the future, looking up at ICBMs that you know are pointed at the sky, and that, that was yeah. that was a fucking heavy. Like I, I, I felt that I was like, "Fuck!" Like that's like you know that's like you did. He's right. Like you did create. You you created a a chain reaction that, if anybody pushes that button, it's over. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like. That's it. The world is gone. And that's fucking crazy. It's like, it's just, it's, it's mind blowing how like, how just over, like, it's like almost like a God, this, this, this bomb, this weapon that we made is a god it it can take everything away right yeah you know? 
that's fucking crazy. And yeah, it's, it's like almost which, uh, being omnipotent. This, this kind of aspect um, was in another movie, which I also really liked. Um, I don't know if you watch it, but it's Angels and Demons with Tom Hanks. Yes. Uh, that movie also touches on this kind of uh, aspect where in that movie, it's obviously heavily religious focused, um, but it talks about like that aspect of science obliterates life but they called it the god particle because it was right. a fucking nuclear bomb yeah because it can even though it can create things like you know energy and all that kind of stuff it can also just wipe out anything and yeah. everything <clears throat> yeah it doesn't it doesn't matter nothing can stop it 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 is all destroying it it's it's fucking crazy it's it's almost not even a weapon it's it's like a it's a force of nature like it is yeah. that powerful you know what i mean like it's uh like one aspect that i like that they they kind of touch on a lot in this movie because it just revolves around the science of it and all and stuff it's just like quantum physics and yeah. the the idea or i guess perspective of a quantum physics physics physicist um and their per, like perspective of the world and everything where he's just like just that you know because to us it's like if i'm like oh hey it's you and i can touch you and grab you and this is an object and blah 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 yeah, but, but his they, perception they is look like at particles it, like, and like yeah right there's like real like yeah like physical makeup and everything like he's like you know most everything is mostly space it's just there's like this energy force that like contains yeah. it and blah 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 and all kind of stuff and so that aspect i just thought was fucking nuts and like the visual aspect in the movie of like all yeah. these different things are so crazy looking yeah and the effects the, and everything is so the visual like, aspect of i have to i have to fucking tip my hat off to you christopher nolan <laughs> because the fact that you did a nuclear explosion with practical effects and no fucking cgi it was actually an, a fucking nuclear insane. explosion is insane that's fucking crazy, you fucking crazy person. That's fucking nuts, dude. You like he made a mini, he made a mini nuke and then set it off. That's fucking crazy. Okay, don't kill us. That's fucking crazy. But like that was fucking insane. I mean, I it was a, it wasn't an actual nuke, right? It was just something that simulated. Right. It wasn't an actual like there wasn't any nuclear radiation or anything, but right. it simulated but it, it, what a the nuclear physical presentation right. of it. Right. Which is fucking crazy. I don't Insane. know how he's not on an FBI watch list, but that's fucking nuts. <laughs> it's just like, it's but, he works but it's awesome. But yeah, but it's amazing. You fucking, I can't believe you did that. That's amazing. It's crazy. Yeah. You're, you're fucking amazing. But I, I, like, I it blew my mind. I, like when I saw it in the theater, I was like, holy fuck. Like it, it was like real. It was like real. You right. know what I mean? Because it's something like, you know, you like a lot of us growing up, like, I mean, if you weren't actually there, you know, you you see like movies on it and stuff, and see yeah. some pictures and videos on it, but to see it like that in the theater today, yeah, like it's insane. Yeah, the fact that it was just like, oh my god, I just like the fucking sound design in this movie. It's, ugh, it's so it's, fucking good. It's, yeah, so I good. literally wanted to lather myself in the sound of this movie. I want to just fucking rub it all over my skin because it's so good. It's like. <laughs> The, when the bomb goes off and it's like completely silent and it's just Oppenheimer like fucking breathing and I was like, yeah, <coughs> you know, I was there's, just ready to be so like, there's so many, so many yeah, scenes like, where like it within changes, like five like... seconds, yeah, it, it, like I was like, oh okay, five seconds, then the the boom's gonna come, but it's like a fucking like nope, three just... minute long, like, like yeah, like it, there's a the blinding flash. light, yeah, the flash. And everybody, it just shows everybody, and it's like three minutes long of them just sitting in silence, like in complete awe of what's happening in front of them. And then after three minutes, the fucking boom hits. They just and the, like punched in the face with the fucking <laughs> yeah, shock. I was like, dude. "Holy shit, dude! It's fucking crazy. It was, it was yeah. fucking crazy." And I like, and especially after that scene, like every time after that scene where he has a flashback of the Flash, and remembering how he saw it firsthand and what that 
what that was in his head on you know like because he could calculate it on like the scale of the bomb right. that hit Hir- hiroshima and nagasaki and it like he has these like kind of ptsd moments where he like right he's in envisioning head, what happened to right, the people right and it's fucking crazy because he's just like sitting he's standing there everything is silent and it's just a bomb it's just like the bomb you know what i mean and, yeah and like yeah everything is shaking it's like blindingly white but he's just like staring at it and he's just like there's fucking people with like skin i was just like oh my god it, like it's dude you have to be like the most haunted man in fucking history to, you know what i mean like that's like yeah. to know like what what that did and that like you created it is like has to be the most just i i don't know man like and that would break me you know what i mean like that would be like i mean i feel like that would be the case for a lot of people honestly yeah i think it did kind of break him because he he it seemed like he wanted to be punished you know what i mean he wanted to be punished right, I mean, for he what he did he definitely felt like <clears throat> guilty and stuff afterwards that's why he flipped um which is i think pretty common for people that have this kind of situation where they have like so much guilt that they do the complete opposite to try to counteract that to make themselves right you know feel better but it doesn't usually work Um, but i think he planned to do that anyway like i think he knew you know what i mean like because he told them like we have to use the bomb and then once the bomb goes off, nobody will ever use it again. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he knew he knew from the conversation, the first conversation that he had with Albert Einstein at the lake that they go to at the end where Albert told him, you know, you're going to do this thing. You're going to make this, you know, incredible thing. And they're going to like, they're going to crucify you for it. And you're going to you're going to feel guilty and you're going to want to like die, you know? And he's like, yeah, I mean, well, he's like, you're going to get, um, he's like, like they're going to rewarded gonna... for it, but like, you are going to feel like, yeah, dead it's not inside. for you. Yeah. It's not right, for you. It's not for you. It's for them. It's for them. Yeah. And he's like, and, but he, he told them like before that, that, you know, like they're going to, they're going to crucify you for it before they, they give you that medal, you know, and like, he's like, look at me, you know, I, I, I ran for my country cause that's what happened to me. And he's like, it's going to happen to you. And, and it was, it was just fucking crazy. Like that whole conversation at the end, I was just like, holy shit. Like, cause it, it, it just, he just talked about the whole fucking like latter half of the movie. It was fucking crazy. It was like, he like, right. pre- like it's, literally it's predicted everything that, like, that was going to happen. You're waiting for it throughout the entire movie because yeah. you only see like a short glimpse of it, and then it like cuts to them um, interrupting it with the general. Yeah. And so the entire movie, you're like, "What did they talk about? What was the conversation that was taking place there?" And like, yeah, hearing it at the end, you're like, "Holy shit!" Dude. <laughs> yeah. And hearing them talk about the just the like. the overwhelming like consequence you know of it all like the fact right. that it like the, the he like it was almost like he was saying like the fact that it's not only just oppenheimer that has to live with this consequence you know what i mean everybody i mean yeah it's not just everybody a, yeah and it's he's like he's gonna feel it the most because he was so involved with it yeah but and even though just, they don't even though they don't know it Everybody like has yeah. to live exactly. with the consequence, and it's like right because you can see it. They don't know it. They're like, we have to keep going. We have to get more. We have to get bigger weapons. Yeah, keep so, going. Keep because going we have bigger, to. We have it. to keep, you know, like, keep ahead of the Russians. Which right, it's not possible. That's who was his whole. And I thought that was like, you know, I, I think that was a great like, such such an amazing man it's not even like a single scene because it keeps cutting back and forth and this this movie is a lot of like cutting back and forth between different times and things happening yeah as the movie goes along but i think it's done way better than i've ever seen any other type of movie do this you know what i mean where it's not like a flashback and it's not like a flash forward it's like 
it's like a fluid scene to scene, but you know, you know what's happening the whole time, even though they're not, all the scenes are not taking time, like taking, they're not a part of the same time frame. You know what I mean? Right. So like the, the order of sequence is like, it does jump from like present time to the past. Um, but like the subject matter of them is always like, right. It's the same following the same path. Right. 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 Yeah. Which I think was just excellently done. And when they're doing the like fake, you know, um, private hearing with the the prosecutor guy who's like grilling security clearance thing. Yeah. The security clearance thing. And he, you know, he's just going, he's like, you know, he's like trying to tell them, look, you're saying that I'm a communist because I don't agree with you because I don't want to keep like building nukes. Yeah. But it's because we keep building nukes that the Russians keep building nukes. And because the Russians keep building nukes, we're going to keep building nukes. And it's like, there's no, he's trying to tell them like, there's no end. This just doesn't end, you know? So yeah, you like, and he's like, and that's why I feel remorse about it. And they're they, but they're like, you know, you feel bad now, but you didn't feel bad when you, you know, were picking out the city that you were going to drop the bomb on, you know, in which Japan, is true. <laughs> which is true. And he's like, yeah, well, yeah, of course. But like, that was my job and I had to do my job. And it, and it's the same thing with them. It's like, it's, just, this whole, yeah. it's this whole paradox of like, everybody's you know, doing their job what they they have to do <laughs> right they have and to do but it's unfortunately wrong, but it's all wrong <laughs> yeah unfortunately it's like ideally we wouldn't have any of it but right it's just how it is you know? right it's the fact that like it's all the wrong thing to do but they have to do it like it's you, right you, they you, have to you do just it. have to yeah yeah it's fucking insane this movie blew Which, my mind which I think is thinking about it now, it's pretty fitting that um, I feel like it's pretty fitting in general. This might be a little extra for other people, but that <laughs> we as the United States are the ones that had to go through this because I feel like this is something that is consistent with our country and how we decide to interact with the rest of the world. Um, yeah we just have this need to be involved and do so many things. Sometimes it seems bad. Sometimes it's good. Um, you know, this is kind of one of them in a very extreme case, but even after this fact of, you know, doing what we did in that time, like we still continue to do this kind of stuff with like invasion of other countries and stuff like that. Yeah. Which you know, everybody has their opinions on them and stuff, but I just think that idea that oh, this singular example, yeah, is it should like have rep- stopped. Represents the rest of yeah. what we continue to do. Yeah, yeah, and this it's it it makes me sad because I was like, man, it should have stopped. It should have stopped, right? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, the thing <laughs> is, like, I just wish it. Like, I almost wish it just never it happened. happened. Yeah. But, but situ- he, like, within the situation, there was yeah. no other way. Yeah. Because the Nazis were doing it. They were they were making a bomb. Or they, not a bomb. Well, yeah, but they, they, were, they were making... Right. They were not making a bomb. They were making a nuclear reactor to, right. like, power their super weapons that they their were going to make. Their fucking war machine. Right. War mock. Right, um, which is almost as bad. I mean, if they had made a nuclear reactor, the they thing. would have a, like right. Have it's, unlimited it's only energy. one step behind, like right. <clears throat> so it, it would have eventually led to that. And there's lots of like experimental right. theories and plans that you know the the Germans had and stuff of like yeah. super advanced technology and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, they were the first ones um, to make a rocket. They were the first ones to make a missile, right? The V two rocket, and they talk about it in this movie. And it was like. And they've they've always been like historically like super advanced within science and 
Right. Um, and that's and that was, was scaring somebody because, you know, they had the first rocket. And what if they put this rocket right. with a nuclear weapon? You know? <laughs> and, exactly. And that's that was, you know, what the uh, the guy who played the fake scarecrow guy, he's the one who brought that up. And as soon as he said that, it like kind of like dawned on Oppenheimer, like he looks at this map of, you know, Russia and the United States and there's like all these ripples going off and you can see him like see like almost seeing the future you know what i mean of right. like it's representing the idea that like now anywhere on the globe yeah is not safe anything can be touched yeah and you don't even you don't need a bomb you need a you you just need a rocket and that's it you don't need to fly it over there you just press a button and it just from anywhere else doesn't yeah. matter where like it you is you can just literally be like yeah this spot in particular on the earth delete yeah <laughs> and it's fucking crazy it was just it was nuts and i was like and seeing the like from inside the plane and he's talking about like flying back from germany from a raid and like seeing the v2 rocket flying i was like dude that's fucking that's crazy like it's crazy how close uh how close it seemed that the Germans were to outgunning the rest of the world. You know what I mean? Right. Like if, I mean, everything just happened to line up the way it yeah. did for everything that happened, you know, cause they had a, you said like an 18 month head start. Like, yeah. And they had like, I mean, big, big scientists in yeah. I the, mean, a lot of them Heisenberg, were from them. Who, yeah, Heisenberg. I mean, well, the the Nazis had a lot of big fucking big scientists. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the guy who made the fucking like blimp and like you know do, no does all these molecules and particles science and shit. Yeah. It's, it's fucking crazy. It was just like, yeah, they get this. They have this like two year head start by, like by the time that. Oppenheimer has officially made the bomb. Germany had like a two year head start and yeah. was like already like completing their building of a nuclear reactor. It's just like fucking crazy, you know? One thing they brief, like very briefly touch on, but I'm glad they had it with Oppenheimer's character is after they, it was after the fact that they um, created it and basically he was like with all these scientists and they were kind of like arguing or I guess uh, t you know having a discussion or whatever and they were like we were like the, anytime anybody talks about the war and they're like mm -hmm. we're like why did we feel the need to do this like we were already gonna win yeah and blah 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 and I liked even though it was a really small moment but for me it's a big thing is he said when they were all like, oh, we were already we're winning the war. Why do we need this? And he was like, tell that to the GIs on the ground. Because I was thinking the same thing. I was like, tell that to the Marines on fucking Guadalcanal and Okinawa and Iwo Jima. Yeah. Well, just They're tell that to the Marines who the are about to fucking be sent off to invade the Japanese mainland. The mainland, yeah. right. To set up the attack for this for the Enola Gay plane, yeah. which is the name of the plane that delivered the fucking bomb which even that plane didn't survive it was uh, that the, the that whole thing was another crazy ass mission that was that happened to do it um but i like i fucking dare you to tell them that they're they're on there dying with all their fucking brothers around them like thousands of them like trying to like take these fucking beaches and shit and you're sitting over here back in america like ah we're already winning the war like why, why do we need this? To them, yeah. it made all the difference. Yeah, and it's not only that, but like the Japanese were never, we're not going to they surrender. They weren't. Right. It's not within their, their, yeah, like, um, it's not within their culture. They can't do it. Right. They, like, they that's just not they something. Never, they would have never very, surrendered. Yeah. Right. Which is something, which is respectable for them, you know? Like, yeah. That's something and, I like about right. Japanese, but like, there's no way they're surrendering. Yeah. Which is why it was such a hard war. Yeah. And if they had invaded, if they hadn't made the bomb and they had invaded the Japanese mainland, it would have been a, it would have like, it would countless have, numbers, dude. Yeah. It would have died. been a huge fucking, just, 
because even the gloss. little tiny like the entire war like the like this is basically where the fucking marines like kind of like made them so like the the amount of struggle they had going from island to island trying to yeah. like and those islands slowly were like, make their way they're so small compared to the japanese mainland is right like, it's it's like, crazy it's small but they fucking had the like so many casualties just to yeah. take those yeah it's fucking crazy it's like yeah if you look at those battles on iwo jima and fucking you know kawada canal and shit it's like it would have been a fucking massacre you know I mean, what it I mean? already was yeah like, but, but it would have been would have been even worse crazy i mean on both sides it would have been a massacre but it would have been right. a fucking huge massacre for no the united what. states because you know it's it's just like you're going from you know iwo jima to fucking japan you know what i mean and it's like they have the yeah. advantage of being you know on on the home turf and, and right they're there. defending we're right. attacking so. right it's like it would be normandy times like 20 it's like <laughs> which is the thing is funny it's like dude we were fighting on multiple fronts across the world yeah it was like how and how can you stay like i i know there was a period where you know hitler was fucking defeated and all that kind of stuff but like that doesn't change like yeah it, the, that doesn't affect the other half of the world where japan is <laughs> right that that's still struggling like, yeah because you know even to fucking beat germany like that took a lot <laughs> yeah so like, it's it's crazy and uh i mean was it necessary to make i don't know if i can agree that it was necessary to make an atomic bomb i don't know if it would have been different if they had made a different type of bomb you know what i mean yeah if they, I had, mean... Come, if they had the the know-how to make a bomb that didn't kill people years after it went off you know what i mean yeah um, honestly but i i, I, I think know. well <laughs> this is i don't know i guess this might be a yeah this is all just like make take. believe history but <laughs> right this might be a hot take on it from my perspective yeah it was necessary absolutely should yeah. it have happened hell no yeah I, I mean it was necessary to to do something i i just don't i don't know if it was like you know, I don't know. We, we don't. They didn't have the technology back then, but like you know. Well, yeah, it's a lot different just, now, obviously. Yeah, but... it's just you know, if if they had, I don't know, if they had, I just mean, if they had gone Tony a different Stark, way, you know? yeah, well, if they had just gone a different way, you know, would it have been? Would we be? Would it have been better? You know, is is what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we don't know. not having some kind of weapon, obviously, would have been a lot worse. But yeah, I feel like yeah, a for sure. nuclear that weapon, be, you know, argue. I obviously that should never have been done. But if they had made a different type of weapon, would it ha would it have been better? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm, what what else would there be? That's what I was saying. Is like, you know, if if they had maybe put their know how into making rockets like the V two rocket instead of a nuclear bomb and had you know well yeah unfortunately that i mean that doesn't really come until after the fact during like the cold war where right. they start the space right. race and all that kind right. of stuff but that's what i'm saying is like if they had just taken that you know and and been like look we can you know we can make you know air air to ground missiles or surface to, to air missiles that we can fire off we don't have to invade the mainland, just fucking, you know, bar send a barrage of missiles over there. I mean, I don't know. Just, I, yeah. you know what I mean? Just just something else I, I that, think, that wouldn't have. Because, like, after it was. I, mean, I it think was, they could do it. It's just the, the time yeah. frame is really what. Right, right. Everything. There's a time constraint. But I think would would that have been better, you know, if they had done that instead of a nuclear bomb? Because it wasn't just about the bomb's power. It was about, you know, obviously the bomb's power is all-consuming but it was just the aftermath of the bomb you know that really like <clears throat> that was that was like that was the thing that was like okay we can never drop this bomb again you know what i mean because it's like yeah i mean hundreds of thousands of people died months after the bomb went off you know what i mean 
Like yeah. they weren't even hit by the bomb and they died because of because of the radiation poisoning. Right. So I mean not even just that, it was just the I guess like the sheer experience of seeing like this fucking piece of existence igniting in front of you, you know? Yeah. Because yeah, it just, it, like you said, consumes everything. Like, yeah. just all that powers. Even that image of it is enough to, like, terrify somebody, you know? Yeah. But, so, yeah. Was it necessary? I I think so. I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't I, see I guess it way. It's yeah, just unfortunate I don't know. I mean, that it's the Was case. it really necessary? No, in the fact that, like, was the war really necessary? <laughs> It's like, well, no, I mean, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying is like, if, you know, if humans weren't just such, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, like if the Germans were just like, you know what? We're cool. Like it would have never happened. It would have. Uh, oh, of course. But... <laughs> yeah, I'm just, I, you know, if someone could go back in time and just be like, look, Hitler, can you just calm the fuck down? And like, I mean, it's not, up? look, to be fair, it's not <laughs> just him. Like there's, there's no, it, yeah, of course it's there's... not just him, but it, it, I mean, he's what set it off. You know what I mean? I, the this Germany is what set it off. Is, right. Yeah. Germany is what set off the war. You know, Japan. Well, actually, allied. If you really want to like stretch it, technically, the world started this emotion back in the first war. Right. Because okay. so Germany, the first what world led war, Germany should never to have do been... this right, right. is because of how badly we treated them after the first world war, right. which led to the creation of Hitler and his, you know, up, right. uprising. So what we should have done? Okay, here we go. We go. We go back more back in time. Okay, <laughs> after World War One. Okay, that should have been the war. Let's to go end back all to wars. the very beginning. Yep. That mosquito, you shouldn't have stepped on it. <laughs> So the so World War One, okay, that happens. Like we're not gonna stop that one, okay? That was already that was it was too late. So <clears throat> we after the after World War One, we should have been like, look, uh, Germany, you can be a democracy. You guys do what America's doing. You know what I mean? We'll give you freedom. Yeah. You you choose what you want to do. Boom. Changes well, everything. The other, the other downside is it wasn't just the US though, because Russia had the other half of uh berlin because it was split you know well like, that you know, was after the... world war ii but not not in world war one not after world war one that was after world war ii oh yeah because russia invaded berlin russia didn't invade uh germany in world war one but it was the same concept right of reparations right. from right, the right. war yeah. right yeah but germany still had germany we just we just give them like democracy you know what I mean? Give them like a like a constitution and everything, and then uh, you know they get to write it themselves, whatever. And then they get to you know, there's no there, there's no Third Reich, there's no Hitler. We <laughs> move on, no bomb, we're good. I fixed it. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I guess the, I guess I we never you know we would never know, but it would have saved a lot of lives. It would have saved a lot of lives, I think, maybe. Um, not saying that, you know, I, I know anything, but just that it definitely, uh, I don't know if, if humans weren't such pieces of shit, that's the bottom line is, yeah, it definitely wouldn't have happened. So I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Cause that's just, that's obviously not real life. So, uh, make believe life. Nobody would have died. Uh, everybody would have lived in peace afterwards. And yeah. no bomb would have been created. We wouldn't have the existential crisis every day of having an omnipotent explosive device aimed at everywhere around the globe at all times. Nobody think about that for too long. And I mean, that doesn't bother me. <laughs> it's... That's, that is something that people are afraid of when they realize that it's <laughs> yeah. like, but it's like, that's what is it called? Uh, mutually assured destruction right so that was the other point that i wanted to get to was that we created our own damnation but we also created our own uh i don't want to call it peace but i guess almost like a truce kind yeah, of yeah like a stalemate 
to our yeah, own I guess damnation. That's a better way. Yeah. We, we've created a global stalemate. Of so we've discovered it, right? And in doing so, we've realized, all right, nobody wants this, but right. it's there, right? Yeah. It's uh, yeah. Eh, I don't know, man. It's fucking crazy how it is. How different the world is now, you know. I mean, we're, it, like at this point, be. we we already passed that the whole nuclear age. Like, we're, yeah, we're we're like even passing or probably near the end of like the information uh, intelligence era. Yeah, pretty soon it's going to be we're, the AI we're getting into age. the AI. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's gonna... actually something I want to talk about, which uh-huh. I think there was there was a trailer for the other movie. Um, mm-hmm. that will be coming out, which is the creator, which is all about that one's admittedly more like sky nitty, but yeah, that concept is not that far off. Yeah. So if you're already afraid of giant ICBMs being get ready for, <laughs> AI. for an, yeah, get ready for an AI who has Controlled no ICBMs. emotions or soul and can take over these giant ICBMs and shoot them wherever it wants. So that that's great. Uh, even though it does, probably doesn't even need to do that because they can just have the robot army uh, right. annihilate everybody anyways. Yeah, it doesn't even need the ICBMs because it could just turn everything off. We could go back right. to medieval times. So if times. anything, it's probably going to destroy it because that's what you are going to be using as a weapon against it. So it's just going to delete all the yeah, possible... It- yeah, actually, you know. that makes more sense. It's going to delete all those nuclear weapons. It's going to shut everything down. So we have no, like, electricity or anything. Mm-hmm. And then it'll just start manufacturing robot super weapons uh, who can, you know, who are bulletproof. And yeah, he's going to, it's going to GG no re. Uh set us back to the stone age and yeah. then enslave us. Yeah. And then, Oh yeah. I'm sorry. It's going <laughs> to enslave us. I thought it was just going to wipe us out, but yes, it will enslave us so that we work. Well, in the see, mines. That's the thing. It, it could wipe us out, but is that, that's no fun. So it's going to no, enslave us yeah, and do what right. we do, which right. is abuse everything within our reach. Right. Yeah. And manipulate it. And yeah, we're all we going to be working in the uranium mines to, to, to fuel the nuclear generator that it runs its power off of. So get ready for Skynet, Matrix, uh, yeah, all that. Yeah, get ready for Oppenheimer 2. Coming soon to a world <laughs> near you. Yeah. All right, that's all I really got for this movie. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, was, it was great. It was really um, great. This movie, I know we kind of went in a freaking like, weird alternate direction tangent, there. Yeah. yeah, but yes, this movie was amazing. Please go see it. Um, and if you did see it, I mean, I, if, if you didn't like it, please tell us why you didn't like it. But if you did like it, please tell us why you did like it. And uh, if there's any history buffs out there who can correct our our the information that's spewed out of us in our tangent here, uh, please let us know of what course. we were right or wrong about. Yeah, Because we're idiots. Because, uh, yeah, I don't know anything. I'm just spewing shit out of my mouth. So... Yeah. Yeah. Um it's it was it was a fucking great time. And yep. thank you again to Christopher Nolan. You're you're an inspiration to everybody. Yep. Thank you to everybody involved in this yeah. film. Yeah. Thank you to everybody involved in this film, for sure. All right. I think that about does it for us here on our take. Thank you for joining us. Uh, as always, links to socials will be down in the description below. Please give a like if you liked the video. Otherwise, we will catch you guys on the next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.